Roses are red. Violets are blue. If you use the We Are Memory Keeper template studio, you can make flowers as big as your head. Two. You don't understand poetry and rhyming at all. As big as your head. Two. Hi, and welcome to Crafts by Two. I'm George. And I'm Ken. And today we have the We Are Memory Keeper Template Studio Flower Maker. This is one of the additional guides you can buy, and it's the flower guide. So you can make kind of long petals and kind of more rounded petals. This flower right here is one of the smaller flowers you can make. So they get even bigger from here. And it was easy to put together. Even George could do it. Yep, I did it. I kind of threw around the blade in the scoring tool, just like I did with the um, pinwheel maker. And I'm not sure why I have such a hard time holding on to them, but I kind of do. So let's jump on over to the video I made of making this great 3D giant flower. As big as Ken's head. So here we are all set up to make our first flower. I took the flower recipe cards and put them on the ring with all the other recipe cards. If you remember in our starter kit, we got two sets of recipe cards. We think that was a mistake. We only should have gotten one. The flower pack only came with one set of recipe cards, but it also comes with this recipe sheet, which is in a different language other than English. And you can still use it to have out so you can get your dimensions. So I've already cut my paper to size. We're going to do a four layer flower. We're going to do the first layer at 16 by four and a half inches. The second layer, 24 by five and a half inches. The third layer, 16 by seven inches. And the last layer, 18 by seven and a half inches. Some other things that you'll need is some adhesive. We're using TTT, Terrifically Tacky Tape. You'll need a pen to curl the end of the flower petals. This is flower template number two. We won't need that for this project, so I'm going to set it to the side. And this is flower template number one. This is the one that we're going to use. So let's move all this other paper over to the side. Let me first say it's important that you read through your recipe cards first. The first time I did this, I didn't read through the recipe cards and I ruined the first layer. So you're going to start, after you have your papers all cut to size, you're going to start always at two and a half inches. And then on the recipe card, it shows you where you're going to put the guides in and where to cut. So the first one goes at zero. So I plug it in, so the little white arrow is at zero. This is at two and a half inches. And for this first cut, you're only going to use the cut blade. You're going to cut on this one side all the way up. Oops. You can take it off and make this get coming off a little bit easier. And then the next one is at two inches. So I just want to line this back up two and a half inches, jump this over two inches. Now you're going to cut up both sides at the bottom. So up this side, and then up this side, and this is going to pop off. And then you're going to use your score tool to come down both sides and the top. And I do that a couple, whoops, a couple times just to make sure I have a good score line. And you're going to lift up the template and repeat.
then for our last spot, which for the, this particular flower is at 16 inches, you just go up the one side, to cut that off, and you score at the top. all that there is to it. And we're going to go through and fold and then fold the diagonal. So I folded all the straight folds first, and now I'm folding the diagonal folds next. I found it a little bit easier to do it this way. And, um, there's your flower. Now, you could glue it all together and leave it flat. And it makes a pretty flower, but I want to add a little dimension. So the directions say you can cut off from one to three petals. The last flower I did, I cut off two petals. Boy, was that three-dimensional. A little bit more than I expected. So for this project, we're going to cut off one petal. So I'm going to cut off the last petal that has just the diagonal on it. And then we're going to use some terrifically tacky tape to put the flower together. Now this adhesive is pretty strong, but this holographic gold paper is pretty slick. So when we put it together, we're going to hold it for a little bit to make sure it gets a good grip with the glue. And you'll see that the flower stands up a little bit three-dimensionally. Set this aside. So let's go down and work our way through taking off the cover tape. Which for some reason I can never seem to do with my fingers. And when I get it off, it never wants to let go of my finger. Now we're going to fold it over, and press it down to make sure that the terrifically tacky tape adheres well to the slick holographic paper. And then to close it, you just take the last petal and the first petal, 
fold it back like that. Oops. And line the first petal up with it diagonally. Like that. Push it down so it adheres well, especially with the holographic paper. There you go. Your three-dimensional flower. That's the first layer of the overall flower. So to make it look a little bit more flower-like, you can take a pen or a pencil, I have a marker in this case, and you just bend the petals over the marker and bend them back a little bit. It gives the flower a more natural look. There. Isn't that pretty? So that's the first layer. The second layer, we're going to do the exact same thing, but on a bigger piece of paper. So we're just fast forward through that. Remember, we're going to start the paper at two and a half inches and follow the guide in the recipe card. So the next part of the flower is so big, they have you cut it in two different sections. You do it the same way, and you kind of put it together the same way. So let's just jump forward to putting it together. So here we have the two white pieces cut to make our flower petals. So we have to cut off one petal, remember, because we're making it a little bit more three-dimensional. And I'm going to cut it off this end. The end that only has the diagonal spore mark on it. Ta -da. So now we have three petals on one and four petals on the other. 
So we're going to put the TTT Terrifically Tacky Tape on it like we normally did. These are bigger pieces, so I'm going to put a little bit more. See how tacky it is? A little more tape on it. We're going to do the same on the second piece. Then we're going to go through and fold everything before we take the backing off the tape. And set that aside. Do the same thing with the other piece. Now I'm going to go through and take the backing off the tape. On one part. And I'm going to fold it over. Now we're going to set that aside. We have one piece that has tape on it that we're not going to touch yet. We're going to come over to this piece. Take the backing off. What we're going to do is fold this back like that and then lay it on top of the last pedal that doesn't have the diagonal fold back and then push it together. It's almost like we have one giant flower. We're going to put this and continue to fold over just like we did before when it was one piece. And when we come to the end, we're going to fold it back, the triangle back, so it's behind. Take this piece here and line it up on the triangle in the back and push it together. There we go. That's how you make a flower from two pieces of paper. And the bigger that you make your flower, the more often you're going to need two different pieces of paper. Because the poster board only comes so big. And if you make a bigger flower, you're going to need bigger paper. So they just have you do it out of two sheets instead of one. Here we have the flower mostly together. I bent the petals back, some of them, around the pen that I had. And some I've had to uncurl because I had them curled a little bit too much to go inside. I'll give you a tip on how to easily put these inside and nest them without having to get out your hot glue gun. Use your terrifically tacky tape or whatever tape or adhesive you're using. And you want to fold down the back triangles of all the petals. So they're flat, so when you put it in, it'll stick and get a good adherence to the other flower underneath. So I've done that mostly on this. I'm just peeling off the rest of the terrifically tacky tape backing. That I can never seem to get off with my fingers, but then the backing never seems to want to let go of my finger either. There. And then we just put it in the center. Mm, yeah, that looks good. And push it down. There you go. There's your flower. But there seems to be something missing in the center. And they give you directions on how to fix that. But I modified those directions a little bit. I like my way a little bit better. So here I have a half a sheet of tissue paper, of white tissue paper, that I'm just going to fold in half the long way. And then I'm going to take scissors and fray it along the fold. 
or you can use fraying scissors, which I prefer. So you're just going to go and cut as straight as you can. And create a fray. As you can see, I'm not being too careful if it's super straight or not. Just trying to make sure I don't cut any of the other frays as I go down the paper. So there, we have the folded edge of our tissue paper all frayed. And I need my trusty marker again. I'm just going to lay it straight out and wrap it around the marker. When you get to the end, you can put some tape around it. And then you just fluff out the pom-pom in the center. That one came loose, so did that one. You're probably going to have to cut off the bottom a little bit because it's going to be too long. And of course, I'm going to cut off where I put the tape. And you put this into the center of your flower like that. Isn't that pretty? makes a complete flower now. And that's all there is to it. You'll be pumping out these like crazy for your parties, your graduations, your weddings. It's great, easy, and fun. See, it was easy. Even I could do it. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in the Template Studio, make sure you watch all of our other videos. We have the playlist in the description below and on our website with all the videos we've done for the template studio it's cool you can make large scale projects big envelopes and so much more also check on our website and in the description below we're offering a special price until june 1st for the we are memory keeper template studio and all the additional templates and we even have some of the we are memory keeper poster board the designer poster board at a super price but we only have a limited quantity left, so act fast before it's all sold out. But that's not the only exciting opportunity. We're going to be doing a mystery box video hop. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Murder! Who done it? Ken. Probably. Yeah. Because, you know. You do everything. Mm. Starting May 31st, you're going to be able to watch a video each day from a bunch of our crafty friends. Each of us are going to be opening up a mystery box from a new vendor and seeing what's inside. I can't wait. It's six days. Six days of fun. And when you watch each video, there's going to be a special code word that you can enter into our form at the last video hop. And then you'll be entered into a giveaway. Wait a minute. I have to do work? Yeah, you have to do work. You're in the video. I meant when I enter. You don't get to enter. Uh -huh. You get to open a mystery box from a brand new company with brand new stuff. Deal. Don't forget to follow us all over the internet. On Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all the witters. Pinterest. Pinterest. Because sometimes we put stuff on there, like Instagram, that we don't even put on our website. Behind the scenes stuff, or stuff that we made, that we haven't shown everyone in a video yet. So make sure you follow us. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those on YouTube, down below, or on our website. We'd love to hear from you. On our website, it's down below too. Yeah. See, I can see it from here. Down. That's the international down below. Oh, it's down know. below. Down below. Unless you're my sister, then she'll never find it. She's screaming at the screen right now that she doesn't see a link. We can hear her from yep. Kansas. From Kansas. Sorry, Beck. So, 
Until next Tuesday, when I got the candy box template to play with. I can't wait. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. And it seemed pretty easy together. Pretty easy together. Yeah, me can, me talk like half again. Starting May 31st. Right? Yeah. Okay, you whipped your head like dun, dun, I was wrong. Dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. Every day from a bunk. Bleh. From a bunk? Yeah.